Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is for the Heartland Collection 550 piece jigsaw puzzle called Dinner at Grandma's. The illustrator is Bonnie White. But before I tell you about that puzzle, first I'm showing you this puzzle here that I did years ago. It was called The Woodlands. It's a glow in the dark. I think it was 500 pieces. Yeah, 550 pieces masterpieces puzzle. I did this April 16th, 2020. Next, I want to show you two puzzles that I had way up top on my shelf, and they are both labeled as Time Away. And as you look at these puzzles, you see these scenic puzzles are two jigsaw puzzles by the artist Dominic Davison. In fact, I think I will take a picture of the back of the boxes as well. They are 750 piece puzzles, but not only are they time away puzzles, as you see in the lower right hand corner, they are also Masterpiece Puzzle Company. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted the puzzle that you see in the upper left hand corner of this picture. It's called Sunset Cabin and it's a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle from White Mountain. Well, one of my viewers, one of you lovely people, saw this video and described a puzzle to me that I said, wait a minute, I think I have that puzzle. So I reached up high, actually I had hubby do it, and grab these two masterpieces puzzles off the shelf. And when he grabbed them and I took a good look at this masterpieces puzzle or this time away puzzle, and again, the name of it is called Living the Dream. It was just as my viewer described in the comment section. She gave a great word picture, so good that even though I had not looked at this puzzle for a year or two and didn't even have it loaded into my iCollect app, I knew that I had that puzzle just based on her description. So that got me thinking, wait a minute, I did the Woodlands, that little fox a couple years ago a few years ago now i had these two time away puzzles do i have any other masterpiece puzzles on my shelf and yes i did i had this 1000 piece hometown gallery jigsaw puzzle it's an art Poulin puzzle i was pronouncing it incorrectly i was saying pollen but again a very helpful viewer gave me the correct pronunciation. Well, I have this puzzle, Old Filling Station, it was way in the back, but I had it. Meanwhile, I had just assembled a Charles Wysocki puzzle. I'm not going to post that picture here, but I had just posted that and I was getting that hometown feel. So when I discovered that this Art Poulin puzzle, Old Filling Station, was in my collection, I knew I just had to get more. Meanwhile, I had already purchased two puzzles off of Amazon, which were Fields Department Store and Sophie's Dollhouse. So I went from owning four Masterpieces puzzles to now a total of 12, including the nine that I'm about to show you or that I am showing you right now in this video. So these puzzles were a combination of an Amazon special that had Fields Department Store and Sophie's Dollhouse at a buy two at a specific price sale. And then I went to the Masterpieces website and found out that they had and still have a 41% off jigsaw puzzle sale. And so I was able to add to a collection that I have just begun to really build and that's what you see right here, 12 puzzles, 12 masterpieces puzzles that I have growing my collection from four to 12 in the matter of less than one week. Now, why am I telling you all of this in this video when the video itself is for dinner at grandma's, which is about to come up? because I wanted to talk to you about my science of purchasing jigsaw puzzles. What drives me to search for a certain type of puzzle, a certain brand, a certain illustrator or artist, and to show you how something small can grow exponentially very, very quickly. 
Before I show you the slideshow of the jigsaw puzzles, what you see is the empty box that is full of puzzle dust. This Masterpieces Heartland jigsaw puzzle not only had the dust that I had accumulated right there in the box, but it kept showing up as I worked on the puzzle itself. So that's always something that people ask about. Was there a lot of jigsaw puzzle dust? And in this case, there was. So the purpose of the video was not only to tell you about why and how I go about choosing certain puzzles, but also to show you this slideshow of this Masterpieces 550 piece jigsaw puzzle, which I had mentioned earlier, the title is Dinner at Grandma's. It's from the Heartland Collection from Masterpieces. The illustrator is Bonnie White, and there is a brief bio on the back of the box. It says Bonnie White has spent 30 years living on her family's horse farm in upstate New York, neighboring mountains, valleys, and historic villages. Inspired by her charming surroundings, Bonnie paints inviting old world folk art. In 2007, Bonnie was chosen to design an ornament for the Blue Room Christmas tree at the White House. There's a quote from Bonnie White. It says, dinner at my grandparents' home every Sunday was a weekly ritual while I was growing up. It's ironic that that's what she says uh, as far as her inspiration was for this puzzle because it made me think of weekends at my great-grandmother's house in Reedville, Massachusetts. We would go, my family and my mother's sister's family, so all together, nine children would go and the adults would be playing cards like whist and what uh, bridge or whatever downstairs and us kids would be upstairs and those times were excellent. In fact, it was those times at my grandma's, my great grandma's, that I discovered how much I loved reading because she was an avid reader. And every time I left her house, I left with an arm full of books. So that was my dinner at grandma's experience. And therefore, this puzzle has a special place in my heart already. There's something else that I want to mention about this puzzle. I want to mention that when I started putting it together, I noticed that her art is muted. It's not clear. The images may not look clear when you're looking at your puzzle piece close up. However, the puzzle came together beautifully. So my initial thought was I would rate this puzzle maybe a three for the muting of the colors. But as I got more and more into the puzzle, I realized this puzzle definitely is at the very least a four as far as quality. The price is great. I got it at 41% off. So I think I paid say eight or nine dollars for it versus the $14.99. And I loved it. I did initially go to Masterpieces website to look for AM Poolin or the Art Poolin collection. But when I saw this dinner at grandma's, it made me think of that those weekends that we spent in Reedville, Massachusetts with my great grandmother and all the fun times I had with my siblings and my cousins. So that is it for this video. You got a little bit more than me just showing you a slideshow. You also got me telling you what makes me start collecting a certain brand of jigsaw puzzles. So let me know in the comment section below if you have the time whether or not you like to know a little bit more about me, what draws me to a puzzle, a brand, an artist, or what emotional connection I have to jigsaw puzzles. I really hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you with the next one.